Hello, how are you? Um, we're going to do a quick full face, which I've already put on. Um, let me start over. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. Whoever you are, this is Janice coming back to you from Janice Lamb 1, Dark and Lovely. So we're just going to do a simple full face because I would like to share with you uh, MAC Radiance uh, Matte Lipstick, and this is Ruby Woo. It's extremely tiny. You can barely see it. I can barely see it, so I know you can't see it. But I purchased that at Macy's, and I hadn't did a video over it. So I just want to share with you this color. So I'm just going to do, do a little simple face. But I've already put a moisturizer I use this as a moisturizer it's black radiance perfect tone I purchased that at Walmart for about four dollars I think it's been a while since I bought it but um, we do not ladies want to use matte lipstick and have crusty lips make sure that you moisturize them well before you apply your matte lipstick wipe that off then apply your mat and it keeps it from looking cracked so on with the show so i've already put a little bit of foundation on which is revlon photo ready and that is in 011 cappuccino and i already used my beautiful red sponge that most ladies hate a lot of ladies but I love them. They work well for me, and I use them often. So I put that on. I'm going to line my eyes. Uh, let's see which eyeliner. We're going to use, uh, I hope, we're going to use Rammel. Rammel by Revlon. If you can see that, I hope you can. But we're using black. And I'm going to line my lower lash waterline. Go to the other side. We're going to do the upper waterline. Stay close to the eyelash. So we have our lashes, um, our water lines done, both top and bottom. Before I do my eyebrows, I'm going to use their real. I bought that at Sephora, and I'm I, I think this might have been a gift, a birthday gift. If you go in Sephora, it's your birthday. They'll give you you can choose a gift, and I think this is what I chose as my gift. And it's called um, They're Real. And it's mascara. And that's in black. So I'm going to go over my lashes. Just prime them a little bit. I like using false lashes, but I also like uh, using mascara anyway. Mm -mm. As soon as I start doing a video, it comes a little light bulb. Getting on my damn nerve. It 
And I do really, really, really like this uh, mascara. So we have our eyes done. We're going to go ahead and do our brows. And I really want to use... I really wanted to use a dark, dark brown, but my sharpener is messed up, and I can't get it to sharpen like this. It's sharpening to one side, and I don't like that. So we're going to start drawing our lashes. Just do them lightly. My nose is itching. Ooh. And this is a very, very, very dark black. Much blacker than what I like to use. But it's going to work. It'll be okay. And even though I have um, did you see what I did? Um, even though I have tattooed eyebrows, I always go over them anyway with my um. What did I do with my lashes? Oh, yeah. Now, let me tell you what pencil that was that I used because I didn't tell you. But anyways, by waiting a while, you can't see it too well, but that is it. It's by Wet and Wild. Okay, we're going to apply our lashes. And then we will get to Ruby. So, I'm going to use the Duo Adhesive. It goes on white but it will dry clear. It'll dry clear. But before I do that, let's do a liquid line. I like the liquid. It seems to uh, hold the, keep the lash from coming off so easy. If by chance there are any gaps in your, in your lashes and your lash line, it's less noticeable. Okay. And we'll let that sit. Touch up these eyebrows. Yeah. I don't like for them to have such an intense um, fine defined line. You know, I like for them to look.
I don't like I don't want to look at like Groucho Mark. I want to look uh, at least almost real. I don't want to look fake. Just brush them a little bit. Alright. And we're good. Okay, we'll go ahead and do our lashes. Like I said, we're using the duo adhesive. And it seems white. But it will come off clear. Use as thin of a line as possible. And usually I, I've gotten... You can see that I use just a little bit. It's real thin. But I've gotten to where I use the um, toothpick or some very, very thin something. And I apply a little bit of the adhesive across the lid. And then I put the lash on the glue. And so it's like a double adhesive and it sticks a whole lot better, lasts longer. But since when I finish this video, I'm going to wash this off. I'm just going to use it like this. I don't need it to stick a long time. So, um, yeah. Let that sit for a few seconds. Maybe 30 seconds or so. And then right there where you drew the, the lash line, the eyeliner, lay that on it. Lay your lash on there. Stay on that line. Hold it a few seconds. Do the same on the other side. Like I said, everything that's white will dry clear. After you set your lash, you can, um, Add liner if you like. It just depends on each individual. We'll put glue on the next one. And if I tend to get too much glue on it, I wipe it off. You know, just dot some of it off. You can see how I got it right there? That's okay. I just took my hand and dabbed it. Get some of it off. Your lashes are done. Let them sit for just a few seconds. And then I kind of press them a little bit. Alright. Alright, I'm just going to take a piece of tissue. Remember, I moisturized my lips. Now that I'm ready to apply my Ruby Woo which is a red color, really red. 
I never thought I could wear that color, but I found that I could. I'm going to use dark brown, um, and it is by Wet n Wild, so dark brown, and it needs sharpening. I'm going to have to work with it because this sharpener is killing me. I'm going to line my lips. And here we go with our feature product, Ruby Woo. It's by MAC, and there's the name. I hope that you can see that fairly well, but it is one of the MAC colors, and it's a beautiful red. Alrighty. Okay, even though I have a liner on, it's a beautiful red. Even though I have a liner on, what we're going to do is I'm going to take the ball of, of this. This is just a uh, sponge tip applicator. I just want to I'll take my MAC um, skin finish. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use my flat brush. That's one. Put a finish powder on. Just so we don't have. And we have a cool face. It's simple, didn't do any eyeshadows or any of that. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and use, uh, this is by Milani. The shade is called uh, Rose Dioro. And I just want to kind of highlight my cheeks just a little bit. We'll add some earrings and we're ready for the day. I want to accent the red. Alright, so tell me what you think. I'm really liking it. I didn't think that I could wear the the red lipstick, the dark red. I just didn't think that uh, it would be a pretty color. But, as you can see, I am the bomb with my ruby. Tell me what you think. Make sure you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe because I need you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.